Hey everyone, Tony Winston here for Jazz Piano College. Thank you for subscribing, and thanks to my subscribers on Patreon. The um, <clears throat> song I'm going to do today is called M Meditation by Antonio Carlos Hobim. Uh, we call it medication sometimes, but uh, meditation is the real name, and I'll play a little bit of it, and then this is going to be a video, you know, for people that are more beginner. So I'm not going to cover like advanced improvisation or rootless voicings or, or uh, anything like that. Just going to do some basic left hand chords. Uh, might do a few open voicings. We'll see. First let's just play the song. It's a bossa nova. That's the first part of the song. Let's take a look at the chords. We've got C6, and I'm, I'm going to be pretty basic in this video. So C major, and if it says 6, you've got to add the 6 to it. You can play any inversion, and you'll see that if you get clear up here, it looks like an A, mi a minor 7th, and of course it's the same thing, but with the C on the bottom, it's going to sound like a C chord. So keep it in root position for now. B7 sus4. There's so many ways you can, you know, write this uh, chord. It, sometimes you'll see an A over a B, something like that. And you can play that B sus just like this, and then resolve it that way. Back to C sixth. Now that wasn't very smooth voice leading, but if I went down here. It might be a little bit too low. It's okay. Maybe I should have done that. All right, up to D minor. D minor seventh. You know, that's a D minor chord, and you have to know what kind of seventh to put on it. It could be this seventh or that seventh, but if it's just a minor seventh chord, use the one that's two steps down from the root. flat seventh. Now, the flat, what does that mean? Is the seventh flatted or is the B flatted? Well, in this case, they're talking about the B. The B is flat, so. And uh, you'll never see like a flat seven written into a chord. Uh, you have to know sometimes what kind of seventh to put into a chord, but the flat will refer to the root, the B. So we've got B flat. It's a major chord, and it's a dominant seventh chord, too. If it says major seventh, that makes it this chord. If it says minor seventh, that makes it this chord. But the dominant seventh is a major triad, and then two steps down from the root is where you find the seventh. Okay? Then we're going to E minor. Easy one, right? Just like D minor, but let's move it up there. There's our A seventh again. And here, because the melody note is really clashing with the fifth, the fifth is the one degree of the chord you can almost always leave out. So play the root, the third, the seventh. That's an A dominant seventh. See, A major, two steps down from the root, gives you the seventh. And the melody note's up there. It says flat nine also. Now that would be a B flat, right? Because you know, A, an octave is an eighth. There's the ninth, there's the flat ninth, so you could play this chord, which sounds pretty dissonant, but when it comes in the song, it sounds nice. Listen to it. Now here we're going to use D minor seventh and G seventh. All right. Now, when you have a really typical chord progression and by that I mean like a 2-5-1. You're going D minor 7th to G 7th to C. You know, you're going to be jumping back and forth a lot, and that's not good voice leading. So 
It's good to play a root position chord, then invert that uh, dominant chord, and then you see there's a repeat sign. So go back to C, and I went to C major seventh, which works okay. C6 is what they say, but either one will work actually. So I'm going to run through the A section again, and then we're going to go into the B section. Well, here I went to F minor 6. Now, why did I do that? Because those notes are, are in a B flat 7th chord. And if you're a beginner, I wouldn't expect you to know that. So let's do it the, a more conventional way. We've got F major 7th, B flat 7th. Now, I, I left the 5th out again. It's, it's not clashing with anything, so I could have put it in. Sorry, that's a... And then here's an E flat diminished seventh. That little circle looks like a dot, but it's a little circle. And, you know, to make a diminished chord, you have to go the same distance each time. So a root up to the minor third, go another minor third up to the flat five, and another minor third up to really what's called the double flatted seventh. It's more like a sixth. But, you know, it's an evenly spaced chord, same distance between every note. That's E flat diminished, then D minor seventh, and I'll use an inversion of G, G7, right? Because you have G7 here, and you can play it this way too. And, you know, one of the most common chord progression in jazz standards is the 2 5 1. And you could always do it this way the two chords minor. You move your top two fingers down like this to get the, se uh, the dominant seventh chord, and then your bottom two fingers down this way to get the major seventh chord. You know, that'll work in any key. Here it is in D flat. We've got E flat minor as our two chord. And here it is in C again. Now, notice that when I went down here, this is only moving a half step, and this moved a whole step. But if I did it this way, I get a little diminished chord that actually works as a G7 chord. It would be G7 with a flat 9, because see, here's the G, here's an octave, that's the 8th, here's the 9th, and then here's the flat 9. We go to either a C major seventh, C major seventh, or C major sixth, either one. Okay, now let's see, what else can I tell you about this song? Well, you know, if you're a beginning improviser, uh, the best way to start is just mess around with the melody, and when you have a, a long note, like for a, a melody note, like the very first note lasts almost two measures, you know, mess around with it a little bit. use a little bit of the chord tones there. And then to D minor. You know, we're in the key of C, and when you're playing a D minor in the key of C, you can play any white key. It's going to sound good. All right. And I wasn't thinking of a scale there, really. I was just you know, I saw that I went to, what did, what did I go to there? I went to B flat 7. You know, I had an inversion of it. And, you know, I could have played it this way. You know, I was just playing notes that sound good. 
And before you, you get too hung up on chord scale theory and start practicing all of these chords with scales and everything, just learn to kind of improvise by ear. It doesn't have to be great, but you know, make it sound halfway decent. And uh, you know, you'll learn a lot. Y you have to do certain things just naturally. And everybody can do it. I mean, I've taught a lot of students over the years, and uh, everybody has it within them. You just have to relax and not be too critical of yourself and just play. And, uh, you know, you'll get better every time. You won't realize it, but, you know, make a recording of yourself and listen to yourself two weeks later uh, after you've been practicing this way, and uh, you'll be surprised. All right, uh, that's all for now. I'm doing lots of videos these days because we're all kind of stuck at home. And, uh, you know, I want to help as many people as possible. So uh, I appreciate your comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up or give me one of these if you want to. I don't care. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>